This is video number 2 and in this video we will load a list of images from our server-side PHP script and we'll populate our collection view with uh, these images. So let's go back to our view controller and uh, begin uh, loading images from our server-side. Uh, and I will do it from the view did load. I will define a new function and I'll call it a load images. And now I'll scroll down here and I will uh, define a new function load images and uh, write its implementation. And to make this video shorter, I have actually uh, prepared um, some script uh, so I don't have to type it and I'm going to walk you through. So um, first of all, we need to create a URL um, to the page that we are loading images from. And uh, what I do here, I create a URL, which is Swift Developer Block, my blog, and then there I have a PHP script called List of Images. And um, because it's going to be HTTP GET request, I attach uh, a unique identifier to this request so that it, it doesn't get uh, cached and every request returns uh, an updated uh, JSON. If I don't do that, it will still work, but sometimes requests GET requests are cached. And um, if I change an image on the server side, uh, if I change some, um, if I make some changes in my JSON uh, document, then uh, I will not see an updated version for uh, for some time. Okay. Anyways, uh, then I recreate an SURL, a mutable URL request out of this uh, string, and now I'm ready to send my request. And to send request, we use uh, um, tasks. So um, I'm, I'm going to use NS URL session, shared session, data task with request, and I pass this request object here. Let me add one curly bracket to complete it. And uh, I will also need to make this task resumable. So I will resume it, otherwise it will not work. Okay, and inside of this task, so this will send an HTTP GET request to our PHP script and that PHP script will return back with um, a JSON document. I'll quickly show you this PHP script. I have it here. So I also add headers uh, to prevent um, PHP from caching. And then here I have an empty, uh, I declare a PHP array and then I populate this array with some URLs to the images that I have on my server. And then I JSON encode this PHP array and um, the result of this PHP script will be a JSON document. Um, here I'll show you. So if I access this script list of images in my browser, it returns me a JSON, a JSON array. So this array is then returned back to this uh, function um, and I can parse it and make my images display in the image view. But it's not always that it will work right away. For example, if an error takes place, if my HTTP request times out or there's no internet connection, an error object will be populated. And I can uh, display this error uh, message to a user. So first of all, we will check if error object is not nil. Um, we do not want to continue. And instead, we want to display user an alert message here. So we de define an alert controller with the message which is going to be uh, an error object. And from that error object, we read localized description. Uh, that will display a description of the error message. And then there'll be only one button with OK label. And when user taps on this button, alert controller will simply dismiss and we will return from this function. We will not continue any further. But if there is no error message, if everything went OK, we can start working with the JSON object. And first thing, uh, we will um, parse this JSON object into an array. So with this lines, line of code, I parse my JSON object and I use an SJSON serialization and I'm uh, converting that JSON object into an S array. If that JSON object would be a dictionary uh, rather than an array, I would use, uh, I will convert it to an S dictionary. But because it is an array, I'm using as an S array. And then basically I will use um, E flat to check if my JSON array, oops, sorry, if my JSON array 
uh, holds any data, then it will be assigned to a parse JSON array. And um, I can, I then I, I know for sure that uh, there is uh, an array of data and I can start working with it. And um, what I will do, I will get uh, the, um, I will get this, uh, I will convert this array as an array of uh, strings and I will assign it to our images, which is here at the top. We've declared an empty array, but now we will actually replace it with an array that that we converted from JSON document. A uh, couple of things that we need to do it. First of all, um, because um, because um, this is this task is executed uh, in background, and here um, uh, we populate images, and we now want to reload our table. Uh, I mean, our collection view with new images. We will need to dispatch a new asynchronous task, and from that asynchronous task, we will uh, reload our collection view. So, uh, oops, uh, yes. So uh, I don't have uh, an outlet created for this collection view. That's why it's uh, highlighting me a warning. So what I'll do here, I'll uh, select my collection view, hold control button, click and drag here. I'll create an outlet for my collection view, my collection view. Collection view. So now I can reference this outlet and I can communicate with my collection view. So this error should uh, be gone now. Yes, so once images are populated, I dispatch an asynchronous task on, on main queue and I reload collection view. When reload function is called, uh, this um, the uh, delegate, the, the data source functions will be triggered and our image array will no longer be uh, zero. It will have some... Uh, number like five or six and then for each row this function will be called and at this moment um, we dequeue cell but the cell will be returned uh, an empty cell so we need to before returning the cell to user we'll need to populate this cell with an image and uh, what we are going to do uh, here is uh, first of all we need to read the image from the images array and uh, we will for uh, we will create a new variable image string and we will read that entry from the images array for each index row and next we will convert that uh, in image string to an url image url an s url so we'll make an a url out of this image string and then we will create an s data out of this url and that will start loading our image. And because the image can be quite large and the loading can take up to a second or two, uh, so for our, for our application not to freeze and not to uh, become unresponsive, we will need to dispatch an asynchronous task uh, so that this downloading takes place in background. So we will put... Um, this code inside of our asynchronous task and our application will remain uh, to be responsive so uh, once image data is downloaded we need to check if image is not nil and if it's not nil then we can set this image to our image view so i will um, check image data for now and then if it's not nil then I'll reference to my custom cell and then inside of my custom cell I have an image view outlet and I'll set it this image view and I'll set its image to a UI image created out of this image data and uh, once again because from uh, because I'm reference my UI from a background thread uh, or from a background task task running from background I will need to instantiate uh, a new asynchronous task on the main queue and do it on the main queue. So um, this should um, hopefully work. Uh, we are instantiating collection, I mean, we're instantiating custom view and then we are reading uh, an image URL 
creating uh, loading data and then we are setting an image on the image view from the uh, asynchronous task on the main queue well, let's run this example and see if it works and how it looks okay so my um collection view is up and running and everything looks good a uh, couple of more things we need we can do to this images is um let's let's first first of all test it oops uh, let's tap on the image and see if we get uh, our um delegate working yes user top down image five okay so first a uh, couple of things that we can do first of all let's um, select the image and make it fit into the view so it doesn't get any uh, stretched or distortions so i'll select the image view here open up right side panel and then from the view mode instead of scale uh, to fill i will choose aspect fit so now if i run my um, uh, app it will look a little bit images will look a little bit different yes but at least those are original images um, they are not distorted okay now let's implement uh, a new uh, view controller which will um, display image in a detailed view